Welcome everyone to Sang Seal Sang TV. We have a very special guest for you today. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you all Clint Pavelus, everyone. And let me just tell you, <laughs> this is he's very near and dear to my heart. And I hope by the end of this interview, you also have gained a new friend. So Clint hails to you all the way from Quade Buque. Haiti, okay. <laughs> so, Clint, welcome to the show. Thanks, Les. Thanks for having me. So, we've been talking about like this show like for so long. Actually. Yes, and you're finally and here. I, I finally, so we made it. Yes, I'm so happy <laughs> you finally made it. Yeah, so it's my pleasure. Like, thanks for having me again. So, yeah. I'm Clint. All right. As you just said, I'm from Haiti. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. We're gonna get into some stuff. So um, for those of you who don't know, he is a Haitian singer, um, but you have some influences in you. So let us know. Let's start from the beginning because we got time. We're gonna pace this out. <laughs> so how did you get started in music? Oh, I got started very early. I remember like my my first picture like with a mic in my hand. It was. I was in kindergarten, Aww. like from kindergarten to elementary, you know, so I like became like, you know, a star at school, oh, then wow. like continue. Because I grew up in voodoo. My okay. father was a voodoo priest. Okay. Then, so I started singing like some voodoo stuff, then switched to church, you know. All right. So that's where the vibe, you know, then like go to school, like art school, All right. then so the roots, oh the my roots, goodness. Yeah. So All right, so for those who don't know that, Uga, right? Uga. All right, this is Racine culture here we're talking don't about. Don't make me scared. <laughs> oh, please. It's a beautiful, beautiful culture. It is very rich. So yeah. what would you say was one of the first songs you sang at that tender age? You know, you're so young. What was, this, what was the kind of music you were into and singing? Would it be folklore? Was it? Yeah, it, it was like, for sure, it was folklore, you know, some Azili song. Okay, like, okay. Yeah, see, well, that's and then you, you know, even you and like voodoo, mm -hmm. you, like as a, as a kid, so you, you have to sing like some church. chant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so who told you you had a voice? And when did you realize that you had a voice? Now, when I talk about voice, meaning, Yes, you, you can hear yourself. Like, I think I can sing. I sound very well in the shower. <laughs> but someone has to tell you, wow, you have a voice. When did you recognize that? Uh, it's the, so, you know, when you're in Laku, Laku, it's mm -hmm. like in Voodoo, uh -huh. you have to sing loud and stuff. You see how people use, like, the voice, like, the, uh -huh. the mouth, how you open it and stuff. Then you know you can do it. Uh, after like a certain time, like being like with them, so like in la yeah. So now you, if you're not shy, you know, so okay, you're gonna do it and back okay. and then so sing loud because in Vodou it's like okay, you sing, you do, it's like a number, you do a okay. number. Then so I follow, you take turns. yeah, I take yeah, you take okay. turns in Vodou. So then after that. So when I started like sing in my in school okay. and stuff, people were like, okay, wow, you have a beautiful voice. Oh then, wow! Yeah. So I <laughs> want to get deeper and talk more about your instrument and how you care for it. But we're gonna do that when we come <laughs> back. So get ready to talk for about sure. that, and we'll be right back. 